New developments from a family member in the case of Joseph Paul DeWise accused of murdering his estranged wife. MTN's Caitlin Corbett with the latest from the Gallatin County Detention Center. I'm here outside of the Gallatin County Detention Center where 47-year-old Joseph Paul DeWise is being held on a charge of deliberate homicide after the shooting death of his estranged wife, Lauren Walder DeWise, and critically injuring another woman, Ashley Van Humert. Now, new details have since emerged in this case, and it's taken a drastic turn. Crime scene evidence, along with text messages gathered from DeWise's cell phone, led to his January 11th arrest. His three children were in the vehicle with him at the time he was arrested. But new information says police interviewed DeWise's 15-year-old son the day following the arrest and showed him a key piece to the investigation, a pair of tan boots thought to be similar to the ones that left shoe impressions at the crime scene in Belgrade. The 15-year-old stuck to his story from previous interviews, telling detectives he did have a similar pair of boots that were a size 6, but he threw those boots out a couple of weeks prior. A size analysis of one boot impression from the scene was estimated to be a size six to six and a half. On January 13th, the investigation took a turn. DeWise's ex-wife came from Florida to meet with her children and allowed her 15-year-old son to waive his rights and speak again with investigators. Eventually, the boy changed his story, saying he was actually with his father at the Belgrade residence when the shootings took place. The 15-year-old told law enforcement he feared for his two sisters and felt like he had to go with his father on the night of the shootings. He said DeWise told him to come with him and get in the car, but never told him where they were going. When the pair got to the Belgrade home, the boy told investigators that his father told him to follow him into the home and that he had a pistol that the boy had never seen. The boy then told officers that he was in the living room when he heard the gunshots. When they arrived back at their house, DeWise told the 15-year-old to give him his boots. DeWise then left the home for a while before he came back. After DeWise returned to the home, he told his son what to say if he were questioned and that he had to stick to that story or DeWise would go to prison. It all began back on January 7th when police responded to an Idaho Street residence in Belgrade for reports of two women injured in the home. Upon arrival, police found 35-year-old Lauren Walder DeWise fatally wounded from what appeared to be gunshots and roommate Ashley Van Humer severely injured. The third roommate who had discovered the two women told police she immediately thought that Lauren's estranged husband, Joseph DeWise, had done something to Lauren and that he was abusive towards her during their relationship. DeWise is now held in the Gallatin County Detention Center on $800,000 bond. Caitlin Corbett, MTN News, Bozeman. In a press release on January 17th, Belgrade police had asked for the public's help seeking items that were possibly disposed of after a criminal act. Those items included a pair of tan boots and a pistol. And if you'd like to read more about what DeWise's son told investigators, you can visit us online. A stand